So you thought you know all about goats, huh? Do you really, though? I mean, you can pass the buck all you want, but... Uh, Alright, enough of the puns. <laughs> You're here to see some of the world's most beautiful and little-known goats, right? Me too. From a bulldog-like goat to the cuddliest goat on earth, let's dive in and take a look at 15 goats you won't believe actually exist. <sighs> Number 15. Damascus Goat You already know that not all goats are alike, but the Damascus goat alone is a whole other animal. It could be the most beautiful animal you've ever seen, or it could be one of the freakiest, most horrific things you've ever seen. Beauty is in the eye of the goat lover. The Damascus goat has a face like a bulldog, and I mean that as a compliment. While they're undeniably adorable as babies, their jaw grows as they get older, leading to a radical change in appearance that, for some people, is pretty scary. But like Quasimodo, all these goats want is to be loved. And they love humans. In many ways, the Damascus goat is like a dog, as they're loving, loyal, and fun to their human counterparts. Although you probably won't be able to play fetch with them. Uh, sorry about that. Depending on your personal perspective, the Damascus goat may be adorable, or it may be a weird genetic error. But we can all agree that there is no other goat in the world like it. It just goes to show once again that you can't judge a goat by its fur. Eh, close enough. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Angora Goat Think of the Angora goat as a living blanket. These furry, cuddly little guys would make for the perfect cuddle buddy if they didn't have such deadly horns. Although, if I'm being totally honest, I'd probably still risk it for the promise of a warm hug. The Angora goat is mostly known for producing the beloved fiber known as mohair, which explains why their fleece looks so warm and inviting. When they're not covered in mud and dirt, I mean, a single Angora goat can produce between 8 and 11 pounds of hair every single single year, which is surely good news for the mohair industry. But while all of that sounds pretty good, it should be noted that the Angora is not an especially tough breed. They have high nutritional requirements, and they're pretty delicate when it comes to their environmental needs. But their hair is soft, and that's all that matters. The Angora is a pretty cute and cuddly breed of goat, that's for sure. And if you've ever dreamed of snuggling up with 8 to 11 pounds worth of mohair, maybe it's time for you to adopt one of these beautiful animals. Or just, I don't know, buy some mohair. Number 13. Old Irish Goat no, we're not singling out one specific goat for some niche and borderline offensive Irish jokes. We've been warned about that. The Old Irish Goat is a breed of goat which originated in Ireland. Hey, maybe that's where they got the name. Despite being native to Ireland, the Old Irish Goat only got its name when exported to England. In its native land, the breed was Ireland's only goat until around 1900, having arrived sometime in the Mesolithic period. Over time, the goat managed to adapt to the country's cold weather conditions before becoming an integral part of the local community. Sadly, during the Great Famine, many of these goats were let loose as their owners could no longer feed them, resulting in pretty much all of the remaining goats being considered feral. Though if caught, these animals are relatively easy to domesticate, today the Old Irish Goat is considered a critically endangered species due to a change in agricultural practices and the continued hunts and calls. Despite the dwindling numbers, Irish communities continue to appreciate this beautiful animal, even hosting annual fairs starring these celebrated guests. Even goats love a surprise party. Number 12. Bilberry Goat if you go down to Bilberry Rock today, 
you're sure for a big surprise. If you go down to Bilberry Rock today, you won't believe your eyes. I'll spare you the rest of the nursery rhyme, but every day is the day the Bilberry Goats have their picnic. You're welcome. The Bilberry Goat is a feral goat believed to have lived in a herd on Bilberry Rock for hundreds of years. While not much is known about their history, the Bilberry Goat is believed to have come over with the Huguenots some 300 years ago. Then they made a home on Bilberry Rock, and the rest is Bilberry. I mean, history. Today, the goats are generally considered to be close to extinction. While the numbers vary year to year, it's known that there are fewer than 100 goats living on the rock at any one time, leading authorities to take action to try and protect them from extinction. The Bilberry goat is one of the best-kept goat secrets in the world. Who would have thought that one herd of goats would make a home on an Irish rock for centuries? Not me. I'm just here googling famous goats. I don't have time to think about long undiscovered herds. Number 11. Barbary Goat Next to China, India easily has the world's largest population of goats. In 2007 alone, there were an estimated 140 million goats in India. And we are going to highlight one of the smallest, the Barbary Goat, just because we can. What are you going to do about it? Please like and subscribe. That'll teach me a real lesson. The Barbary is a breed of small domestic goat native to India and Pakistan, one of 20 officially classified breeds in India. <laughs> As a small compact goat, it may not be one of the most notable goats from an aesthetic standpoint, but believe me, this is a pretty fascinating specimen, capable of adapting to different seasons with relative ease. Despite wild changes in temperature, humidity, or even atmospheric pressure, these goats can continue to give milk with absolutely no difference whatsoever. It's like it's not even happening. The Barbary may seem like just another tiny goat, but it's clearly a whole lot stronger than you'd expect. Expect. Sure, it couldn't pull a car with its teeth or move more than a step with a full-sized Dwayne the Rock Johnson on its back, but it can withstand a sudden change to the thermostat like nobody's business, which is more than I can say about me. Number 10. Dutch Landris if you're someone whose only major complaint about goats is they don't have enough hair, may I introduce you to the Dutch Landrassa. This breed is known for its unique and very hairy appearance, as well as their ability to cheat death. Kind of. Actually, the Dutch Landrassa isn't immune to death, it just managed to evade extinction in the 1950s. In fact, only two goats remained in 1958, forcing the decision to crossbreed them with other unrelated goats until the species was eventually repopulated once more. <laughs> Although in 2020, the species was once again named an at-risk or endangered species. So I guess all that hard work was undone pretty quick. Thankfully, the goat has proved popular enough that a breed association was formed in the Netherlands in 1982. So many people are still looking to keep the breed alive. The Dutch Landrassa is an aesthetically interesting breed. That's for sure. It's the cousin it of the goat world. And honestly, I'm totally into it. How could you not be with such long, beautiful hair? It could be an Italian male model. Number 9. Rove Europe seems to be full of almost but not quite endangered goats. In France, that would be the Rove, a breed of goat that has somehow managed to work its way back from the brink of extinction. Late congratulations to you. And no, I'm not fluent. Thank you for thinking otherwise, though. The Rove goat originates in Le Rove, a small village near Marcielle. This unique medium-sized goat is mostly recognizable for its long twisted horns and smooth coat. Females tend to weigh between 100 and 120 pounds, while males weigh between 150 and 200 pounds. But the reason for the rove's existence has changed drastically throughout its lifetime due to the local French culture. Initially bred for their meat, the rove goat has since been used for dairy instead, as the French goat meat market is apparently not so popular with locals. It's it's fascinating that the rove managed to bring itself back from the brink of extinction, with some 5,000 goats registered in 2003 alone. Modern farmers continue to use the rove, primarily for dairy production, though some continue to breed the species for its meat. However, whether you like the meat or not, everybody can agree that those horns are just spectacular. Number 8. Malwa 
Given that the country has so many, naming India's favorite goat breed seems like kind of a futile effort. But if you had to name some contenders, the Malwa goat would absolutely be up there. This big white goat is incredibly popular. Originating in Madhya Pradesh, India, the Malwa goat is mostly known for its unique shaping and mostly white color. Some have horns, some don't, and you know what, man, that's cool with me. The female Malwas are particularly notable for having an increased amount of milk, which allows them to feed their newborn kids enough to help them grow stronger immediately after birth. So while I have absolutely no evidence to back this up, those kids could end up being super goats, which is obviously Superman but in goat form. I guess you could say he fights the bad guys. I don't know if I should be proud of that one. The Malwa breed is one of India's most popular goats, probably because they have such an impressive amount of milk. Or maybe they just really like to see a goat that looks like this. Either way, they love a Malwa. I think it's kind of cute, actually. I totally get it. I'm not a bad guy. Okay, I tried it twice now and have decided I'm not proud of it. Number 7. Filet's Blackneck with a name that would have perfectly fit into Game of Thrones, the Valet's Blackneck is a Swiss goat famous for its unique cookie. Pretty much anybody who's ever had a black and white cookie will recognize that unique coloring, only this is a goat. But you probably knew that. The Valet's Blackneck is one of those goats that goes by many names. Walliser Schwartz Halsich, Gletchergeist, Col Noir de Valais, Chevreau de Glace, Race de Viege, Valasana, Valise, it's pretty much just a Swiss goat with an identity crisis. However, those names reflect the modern blackneck well, as it can be found all over Europe, in places like France, Germany, and Italy. Unfortunately, despite their many homes, the breed is considered critically endangered outside of Switzerland, with population numbers being as low as 100 in Austria. But of course, the matter isn't as black and white as the Valais Blackneck, and conservation efforts are taking place. The Valais Blackneck is a pretty stunning goat to look at, thanks to its picturesque coloring. For that, it can thank one of its ancestors, the English Baggett Goat, also known for its unique black and white coloring. For the rest of us, we can just thank Google and the rest of our corporate overlords for introducing us to this goat. Number 6. Toggenberg when people talk about the Toggenberg, it's essentially to know that they're not actually talking about a burger. I have to flag that up in advance because I don't want anyone to feel the same disappointment I did. The Toggenberger is a Swiss breed of goat, medium-sized and noticeably brown. Like many hipsters, it has a curious beard but has yet to say anything interesting about artisan bread. Unlike hipsters, the Toggenberg is one of the most productive goats in the world. likely even more than your eye. That's more productive, not more goat. I don't know how goat you are. The Togenberg is used for milk production and is one of the most productive dairy goats, with their products distributed to at least 50 countries worldwide. While it may be disappointing to discover that the Togenberger isn't some new burger, the Togenberger goat is pretty impressive in its own right to be one of the world's most productive goats. A fine achievement to have a hipster beard and not endlessly bleed on about brewing your own beer. Wonderful stuff. Number 5. Hijazi And now we come to one of the most elusive breeds of goat in the world. The Hijazi. If you live outside of Arabia, good luck seeing one of these. Even tracking them down on the internet can prove pretty tricky. The Hijazi is a breed of goat used for meat production, but apparently that's the only thing that is for sure. While the breed is usually black and long-haired, some recorded instances of the same breed are exactly the opposite, leading to questions about what these animals look like in the wild. There is one trait that can immediately identify a Hijazi goat, their ears. Much like Dumbo has those big floppy ones, the Hijazi goat has the very same problem. 
This is a goat whose ears hang loose halfway down their legs, making for quite the sight. The Hijazi is not an easy animal to see in the wild, mostly because they vary so much in their coloring and appearance that it can be impossible to identify. But if you happen to see a goat walking around and tripping up on its own ears, you may be looking at the Hijazi. Or just an extremely clumsy and unlucky goat, it's one or the other. Number 4. Boer if you go to South Africa to look at the goats, and why wouldn't you? You'll almost definitely stumble upon a boer at some point. The boer goat is one of the most popular for meat production, and likely an important part of the country's natural history. While it's difficult to know for sure, it's generally believed that the boer goat was bred from the indigenous South African goats kept by local ancient tribes. Over time, selective breeding meant that these animals became known for their meat more than any other purpose and their celebrated genetic traits make them one of the most popular meat breeds in the world. It's also worth noting that the Boer is the largest of all goat breeds, with the mature bucks weighing around 200 to 340 pounds on average. That's a heck of a lot of meat right there. Initially, the Boer was a favorite of the natives and indigenous peoples, but today it's a celebrated goat worldwide. They're also incredibly popular in the world of showing, in which people eagerly show off their prized goats in the hopes of winning prizes. Because apparently, even goats aren't immune to the phenomenon of show moms. Number 3. Sorohi in the 21st century, we love multi-purpose stuff. Washer dryers, DVD player recorder, microwave best friend, I could go on. The Sorohi continues this notable tradition of multi-purpose goods by being a breed of goat reared for both milk and meat production. Really getting the most out of your buck as it were. Although you can't actually milk a buck, so that joke is inaccurate. <sighs> I'm very upset with myself. The Sarohi is one of India's most popular goats, with a population of around 3 million. And that's no coincidence, the breed is apparently the most profitable goat breed in India. So maybe we shouldn't be too surprised that there are so many of them, because the goat gains body weight incredibly fast, it's considered the best goat for meat production. In a single month, these goats are known to gain some 11 pounds with a normal feed. Sounds like a typical Christmas to me. The Sarohi is arguably India's favorite goat, though it does have some tough competition. However, when it comes to meat production and just generally being a popular choice, there is no other option. The Sarohi just wins every single time, and the buck stops there. No, there's another inaccurate joke. The buck never stops. Factually accurate jokes are hard. Number 2. Kalahari Red If there's any compliment to be offered to South African farmers, it's gotta be this. They know how to raise a darn fine goat. The Kalahari Red is not just an excellent name for a goat, it's also one of the most impressive breeds anywhere in the world. The Kalahari Red is named after the Kalahari Desert, its native homeland, and its noticeably red coat. Both of those things contribute significantly to the Kalahari Red's most important selling point, its hardiness. This breed is resilient to many potential dangers. The sun, parasites, and disease, all thanks to the pigmentation of its skin and its natural genetic blessings. <laughs> Thanks to its origins in the Kalahari Desert's intense heat, this breed can withstand a lot of arid, brutal temperatures without experiencing any major discomfort or problems. The Kalahari Red is a lot more than just a cool name. Bred for its meat, this is a goat that can survive just about any conditions and any potential diseases with ease. And I guess if you're going to live in the intense heat of South Africa, you kind of really need that, right? Number 1. Ibex. Technically speaking, the Ibex is not one goat, but many. This is a natural wild mountain goat, known for having large, uniquely curved horns. It's also one of the few unmistakably identifiable breeds of goat. You just know it when you see it. That's the power of the Ibex. The Ibex has long been recorded throughout the archaeological record, going back to 3100 BC. According to this evidence, the Ibex was often hunted by native people and a whole host of wild animals. By the 15th century, the Ibex faced extinction due to hunters getting a 
little bit too trigger happy. Eventually in the 1800s, a ban was implemented by the Duke of Savoy and King of Sardinia, effectively saving the animal from extinction and allowing us to enjoy this beautiful animal once more. Today they can be found in Eurasia, North Africa, and East Africa, though they tend to flee if humans get too close. The ibex is one of the oldest and most beautiful goats on our planet. While there are many varying subspecies of ibex out there in the world, they're all equally stunning to witness. You really can't forget those horns easily. Did you know about any of these goats before watching this video? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!